Still spending hours creating and scheduling Pinterest pins manually? You're not alone, but honestly, you don't need to anymore. If you're tired of that slow, manual Pinterest grind, this video is about to save you a ton of time. Hi, I'm Max, and every week I share ways to make Pinterest work faster for bloggers, online sellers, and affiliate marketers without burning out or hiring a VA. If you want to learn more about this, like this video and subscribe to our newsletter. The link's in the description. Today, I'm going to show you how to plan, create, and schedule an entire month of Pinterest content in just a few minutes using one simple tool. No chat GPT, no Canva bulk create, no messy spreadsheets. It's even easier than that. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to turn your blog post or product links into 30 plus pins ready to go live, optimized, and scheduled out. Stick around because I'm also going to share how many pins Pinterest actually recommends pinning per day, how to avoid getting flagged for reusing links, and what to actually do instead. If Pinterest has felt like a time suck or you've been stuck trying to figure out how to make it work, today we're going to plan, create, and schedule a month of Pinterest pins in minutes. And as you can see, this video isn't very long, so this is exactly the tool you've been waiting for. But what does a month of Pinterest content actually mean? Pinterest recommends posting between one to five fresh pins every day for new accounts and 10 to 25 fresh pins for more active accounts. Yes, this includes weekends too. Fresh doesn't mean you need 30 new blog posts or product links. It simply means you need new pictures, titles, and descriptions to make each pin unique and appear fresh to the user's eyes. Here's where a lot of people go wrong. If you reuse the same image and caption over and over, Pinterest might flag your account for spammy behavior. We'll get into those best practices later, but just know this is one of the biggest time wasters for creators. And it's also where Pin Generator shines. Pin Generator creates dozens of unique pins, titles, images, descriptions, captions, you name it, which keeps your content fresh and in the best eyes for Pinterest. And if you're curious how this stands up with Canvas Bold Create, We'll cover that in a future video, so drop your questions in the comments below so we can answer them. But for now, let's assume you have a newer blog and will create 30 to 60 unique, high-quality pins in just a few minutes and schedule them to go out. Set it and forget it. All right, let's walk this through step by step. On the screen, I'm heading to pingenerator.com. You'll immediately see the search bar. Go ahead and copy and paste your blog's URL or product link into the box and hit Generate My Pins. I'm using Ollie and the Captain for this example, and we're going to scan the whole blog, not just one post, as this will give us a lot more to work with, especially if the blog has five or more posts. Once I hit scan, you can see Pin Generator pulls in the blog's titles, descriptions, and images and puts them in the right-hand side. You can see it's automatically created 12 templates for us to use. But before we get started, I'm gonna go up here to the top left and change this number from 12 to 60, because we wanna create a month's worth of content. This way, we're creating two pins per day in line with the best practices of one to five pins per day for a newer account. You'll also see it's pulled the full site map. If you only wanna promote a few blogs this month, simply click and turn on which blogs you'd like to use and which ones you'd like to turn off. Quick note while we're here, Pinterest does allow you to use the same URL but there are rules with the frequency of how often you can pin these posts. Like I mentioned earlier, if you post the same pin or the same URL over and over, Pinterest might flag this as spammy behavior and we do not want that. So what do you do? What actually counts as a fresh pin? Pin Generator creates dozens of unique pins and populates them on the right-hand side. And if you want to tweak things even more, there's an AI option to create new titles, descriptions, and images for each of these pins. So you may be asking, how often can I repin the same URL without getting in trouble? That's a great question. And now you're thinking like a true Pinterest marketer. Best practice is to space these URLs out every two to three days for a new account or five to seven days for a more established account. So what does this mean for us? We're going to want six blog posts on repeat at a minimum for this month. For example, two on Monday, two on Tuesday, and two on Wednesday. That gives us six unique URLs before repeating the first. Does that make sense? All right, let's keep going. I'll hit generate again, and you'll see that these pins are now populating on the right-hand side. This is the part that usually takes hours, planning, designing, creating, putting together titles, images, descriptions, but Pin Generator does it for you in seconds. Each pin has a unique layout and a fresh design, exactly what Pinterest is looking for. And the best part, the titles and descriptions are pulled straight from your site's content, so there's no need to use ChatGPT or any other method for creating these. You could edit anything you want, but honestly, it's pretty good to go. When you're first getting started, I recommend flipping through some of our community templates and saving the ones you like or designing your own. 
I haven't done that on this test account and Pin Generator pulled some awesome templates for us to use. This is very similar to what you'll see when you're first getting started. Quickly looking through some of these templates, a lot of them I like, but there are a few I'd like to tweak. For example, like this one here, I don't love the layout. So let's click this shuffle button to see what else Pin Generator comes up with. Simply keep clicking it over and over until you find one you like. And if there's a design you love, you can click this lock button to save the design. I'll go ahead and quickly tweak a few, scrolling through and finding, yep, changing this one here, this one, this one. I mean, with 60 pins and only needing to change a few, we've done a really great job at collapsing time. All right, it looks good to go. Let's continue. Also, you can click this button here to manually edit the title, description, URL, or anything else you need. But honestly, that's the beauty of Pin Generator. You don't need to use ChatGPT or create messy spreadsheets and upload them into Canva. All the work is done for you inside this one tool. And just remember, like we mentioned before, there is an option to add AI titles and descriptions, which we'll get into into a different video. So if you're curious about AI, let us know in the comments below. So from here, we're basically ready to go. Noting on the left-hand side, you can also upload additional images use our integrated stock images, or add AI images to make things even more unique. But for now, let's keep it simple with the ones we pulled from our site. Now, let's schedule these pins. Simply click Schedule in the top left-hand corner, and we'll be able to set the days, times, and boards that we want each of these pins to appear on. And boom, just like that, we've planned, created, and scheduled a month's worth of Pinterest content in minutes. Don't even get me started on the Create Auto Pin button. That's even faster than what we just did. We're not covering that today, but if you want a video on how it works, let me know in the comments. And if this video is already saving you tons of time or teaching you ways to improve your workflow, give it a like. It helps more creators find this video and lets me know what kind of content to create. I'm Max, and I'll see you next week with another fast, easy, simple way to improve your Pinterest strategy without burning out. In the meantime, let's get generating.